so now it's time to create a conditional edge so as like till now what we were doing is that we were creating nodes one by one right we created a retrieval doc we created a create model node we created a document creator node now it's time to like create a conditional edge and why we are con creating a conditional edge it's a reason because we have a document creator node which can uh, have the relevant documents or we cannot have a relevant document as well like the relevant document uh, list can be empty if we do not found any relevant document according to this so we need to make a decision whether we had a relevant document or not and if we have a relevant document we will continue pursuing this graph and we will go ahead to the to our LLM model and we're gonna generate some answer on the basis of this relevant document but if we do not have a relevant document it means we don't have any context and if you don't have any context there is no point of building a rag right so and if, if there is no relevant document for our question we're gonna basically exit the graph and that's what we are doing here so let's quickly uh, make it a make a conditional edge so this is the name of this conditional edge is having relevant documents so has relevant documents is the name looks pretty descriptive and again like other nodes this being an edge this will still gonna take the state the shared state and now this is very easy to implement what we are doing is that we are checking the relevant documents here so from the state we are querying the documents and we will simply see if we have the relevant documents or document or not right so we can simply check the length here and if okay this is a spelling error so if we have our relevant document this means that we don't have a relevant document so we don't have a context to go ahead with right so in that case we can't do anything we have to return or no means that don't proceed otherwise if we had a relevant document we return a yes meaning proceed now this will we'll use that while building our final graph flow and we will see how uh, the output of this relevant document the yes and no output is being used to direct the flow of the graph